game with 20 or more. Let's hear from him. Obviously, the Aiden uh, matchup is going to be a, a problem you try to solve this whole series. Uh, what were you guys trying to do? How do you think you did? And uh, where do you go from there, I guess? Well, I didn't think he gave us a problem on the post up or offensive rebounds. He only had three tonight. Um, but it was more so when they drive and get, make the penetration, our bigs would come and help. We weren't getting that crack back guy. So we got a lot of little layups, little dunks in the middle of the paint because we didn't, we didn't you know, commit fully to hit him and take him out and X on the backside. So um, we'll watch the tape, we'll watch the film, and we'll, we'll uh, see what we need to do better. Ty, in the fourth there, you guys were close, and then you missed a bunch of shots. Did you, did you like the shots, number one, and did you also think that this might have been the fatigue kind of coming in? But uh, I have no excuse. You know, I thought we played hard, we competed, and um, we had some good shots down the stretch. You know, that we didn't make. So, give them credit; they made the shots, and we didn't. But I loved our fight. I loved what I saw, and um, you know, just seeing how they play. You know, game one and what they were trying to do and how they were trying to attack. Uh, we'll be ready for game two. And how's how's Marcus? Uh, not quite sure yet. Was that was that sort of the impetus for going with Zoo, with Zoo at the start of the second yeah. half? Was Marcus his knee? Yeah. What did you think of the Cousins' minutes? I thought Cousins did a good job, especially in the first half. You know, um, second half, you know, they tried to go to the front. We couldn't really give him the basketball like we wanted to. But in that first half, I thought he really gave us a big spark off the bench. Hold on. Go ahead. We'll go go ahead, Chris. We'll go into Tamir. Sorry, I apologize if it's loud out here, but it really seemed like the Suns kind of got whatever look they wanted to based off of, like, de it started with Devin's uh, dual penetration. Did you feel like you guys defended the, his dual penetration well enough today, leading to their three-point shots? Um, I don't think it's not as quite as good as we have been. You know, um, he's a beast, and we understand that. So just go look at the tape and look at the film and, and uh, just kind of go from there. But, you know, he did a good job of attacking. You know, we tried to double team. We tried to blitz. We tried to fire. They took advantage of a lot of it. So, you know, he had 11 assists today, so probably a career high in that regard. So, um, you know, we'll watch the fail film, we'll watch the tape, and we'll be ready to go for game two. Do you feel like you did well enough considering you got 38 hours to prepare? Uh, we did okay. We'll be better. I, mean, I know it's, it's real quick right after the game, but when you think about this now, was, did, did you feel like this is where we wanted to be? We were in position to win this game despite this quick turnaround? And yeah, um, I did. And, you know, I thought, you know, um, you can see in the first half, a couple of guys a little tired, but you know, that's no excuse. The guys came off the bench, gave us a great lift and um, played well, you know. So um, just got to look at it. Like I said, look at the film, um, look at what they, how they try to attack us and then what we can take away, and then look how we can attack them as well. And how, how different is Booker than when you guys faced Doncic and then, uh, you know, Donovan Mitchell this last round? How different is it? I mean, they all great players, you know. Um, they all present something different. Um, you know, so it's going to be a tough challenge for us, you know, like I said, guarding him and seeing how we want to guard him and defend him, who we want to take away, and then kind of go from there. And hey, we'll go to uh, Cameron next. Beautiful. Go ahead, Cam. Hey, hey, good afternoon, Coach. Uh, kind of um, on the same lines of that question, uh, how was that experience guiding, guarding Luca and Donovan Mitchell? How do you guys move forward in this series? Um, like I said, like they're all three great players, and they're all great offensively. So, um, like I said, just just you know having to try to take one guy out of, the, out of the series is tough, especially when Booker's making the passes he made tonight, and um, you know got his teammates involved as well. So um, we've had, like I said, we have experience with Luca, we had experience with Donovan. So now this isn't any different. We just got to make a couple adjustments and kind of go from there. Go ahead, Dan. Ty, uh, they were able to get out and transition, uh, probably a lot more than you would have liked. And Kind of, you guys weren't. Um, how important is that going to be? Kind of flipping that as the series goes on. Um, well, first, just make some shots. I think you know, uh, make a couple more shots, make them take it out of the basket, and get our half court defense set. But you know, we know they play fast. They play with a great pace. I thought Cameron Payne did a great job of setting the tone early. You know, offensively, be able to attack, get into the paint, make some plays. Um, so you know, we just got to do a good job of that. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna watch the tape. You know, check it out, and then we'll see what we got from there. Mark, you have any? All right, we're good. Thank you, Coach. All right, fellas. See y'all later. Yeah.